Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So a very familiar sight. I'm actually going to show you how to bleed a clutch on an STI. Yes, it's gonna be very similar in other cars, but I'm gonna show you specifically on a 2017 STI of how I do it uh, and how not to do it. I actually just replaced the parent pitch stop as well as the parent pitch stop mount back there. Um, and in order to do that, you actually have to replace the uh, clutch line right here. So after you take the stock line off, which is over here, you have to replace it with the supplied stainless parent line that comes with the kit. And when you replace that and you take the stock line out, you introduce air to the system. So basically you have to bleed out the air uh, so the clutch feels you know nice and firm like how it normally does. If you don't bleed out the air, it's gonna basically, you know, your clutch is gonna go straight to the floor. You're not gonna be able to get it in gear and it's just not a good time. It's a very similar process if you ever bled brakes before, same exact thing. You wanna bleed all the air out of the system uh, so the brakes feel nice and firm and they uh, actually work. <laughs> so it's kind of the same thing with the clutch. So I installed everything. You guys saw the video on how I did that. Um, now I'm gonna show you how to, how to bleed the clutch. Now I picked up a Harbor Freight um, pump that I was going to use uh, to try to accomplish this by myself. Uh, but it ended up absolutely sucking. It was like 24 bucks uh, and it just was not worth it. So in my last video, if you guys saw me actually purchasing that, don't get it, it's not good. It's good for uh, you know removing fluid if you wanna take fluid out of the reservoir. Uh, I haven't tried it on brakes or anything yet. Uh, you know, I'm gonna keep it and hang on to it because I'm sure I'll find a use for it at some point. But um, if you really wanna use a power bleeder, I suggest picking up the Motive power bleeder, which is around 60 bucks or so. Uh, that thing really, really works. And basically it's a pressurized uh, canister. You pump it up and it'll just suck all the fluid up and get all the air out. With this method, I'm actually going to old school version. I'm actually going to have two people do it. I'm going to recruit my beautiful and pregnant with third child wife uh, for this. She's actually gonna be sitting in the driver's seat, pumping the clutch for me, um, and holding it down while I open up the bleeder valve right there. Uh, and what that's gonna do is actually you know, push all the fluid through the system, get out all the air bubbles, and we'll be back to good. So I'm gonna walk you through the process of how you actually do it. Um, you know, it's, it's very straightforward, but you know, when you replace an actual line, it may take a little bit longer than normal, just because, you know, you have to get all the fluid through that specific line, uh, and you wanna get out, out all the air. So, you know, be patient, it's gonna take a while. This is actually my second night doing this. Uh, the first night, uh, I actually had my wife you know, sitting in the driver's seat and pumping the clutch. We had to do it so many times that I got, I felt bad. So I said, it's okay, you know, you can go back in the house and uh, we'll do it another night. So <laughs> she's coming back out for night two. Thankfully, uh, you know, she was a good sport about it and is helping me out. So I'm gonna go get her. She's not gonna be on video, obviously, cause I'm gonna be in the engine bay, but um, you'll hear her pumping the clutch and stuff. So, but first, before we get her, let's hook everything up and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. All right, so the tools that you will need are an eight millimeter wrench. You're gonna use this side. Um, you can use the open-ended side, but it's a little bit more difficult because you're gonna be, you know, it's gonna be falling off the bleeder valve. Uh, so using this end here is gonna be much easier because it'll actually stay onto the actual valve. And the only other tool that you're going to need uh, is some type of tubing. Um, you can do this, you know, uh, just letting it shoot up in the engine bay if you wanted to, but I don't suggest it because it's gonna get everywhere. And brake fluid, hydraulic fluid is very, uh, it'll eat through anything. So uh, I suggest getting something like this. This actually came with the pump. Um, all it is is just the clear tube uh, and you're gonna hook that to the end of the bleeder valve uh, and, you're, and it's gonna go into here. So as you can see, I have some already in there from doing it the other night. Um, so I'll show you how to hook it up, exactly what to do, uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we're all hooked up and ready to go. I got the little canister over here. Open up the actual uh, fluid cap right there. You just wanna take it off so it allows it to breathe. And then if we look right here, I got my eight millimeter on the bleeder valve and I got the hose uh, going straight up. You want the hose going straight up because you want the air to travel up. Uh, and that is the best way to actually see the air coming through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to have my wife sit in the driver's seat. What she's going to do is pump the, uh, the clutch as many times. I usually do about 10 to 12 times. Uh, and then what she's gonna do is hold the clutch all the way to the floor. And then once her, her foot is all the way on the ground, uh, holding the clutch down, I'm actually going to take that eight millimeter and pull it this way and loosen it. And you know, basically for about three seconds, you'll see the fluid shoot up. Uh, and then if you have any air, you'll see little bubbles in the fluid. And it's just gonna drain into this uh, little cylinder here. Um, so I'm gonna do that multiple, multiple, multiple times. One tip that I'm going to say is you do not want the person in the driver's seat letting go of the clutch when the valve is open. Because if you do that, 
you know, if you have it open and they pull the clutch up, all it's going to do is just suck in air and it's just gonna put more air into the system. So you do not want to let go of the clutch when it's open. So after, you know, wait about three or four seconds with it open, you're gonna close it back up and then you're gonna tell the person helping you out uh, to pull the clutch back up. Most likely it's gonna be stuck on the floor. Um, you can just basically get your toe under it or, or your hand if you want to and pop it back up. Have them do the same exact thing, pump it 10 to 12 times or so, open it back up, close it up. Oh, you're gonna do that over and over until you see no bubbles in the lines um, and you know the clutch starts to feel a little bit more normal. So I'm gonna go get my wife. She's going to uh, help me out here and get this clutch bled. So that concludes the uh, bleed of the clutch line. Uh, I had to do it for probably about 10 minutes or so again, uh, and the clutch started really firming up, and the, you know there was less lag between the uh, pedal actually catching. So you know it was getting better and better with each and every time. Plus, when you turn the car on, it pressurizes. So yeah, I'm really happy I got that done. It was a major pain in the butt. I spent a lot of time trying to get it bled with the uh, Harbor Freight. A pump and it just wasn't working. It was adding so much frustration. I think I spent a solid two to three hours trying to do it myself uh, and it just <laughs> it didn't work out. So that, um, so that kind of made it longer than it really should have. But I suggest getting a friend, having them pump the clutch and get it done. You can get it done within, you know, 20, 30 minutes or so, depending on how much air is on the line and, um, you know, making sure you're doing it right. But Really happy I did it. So if you guys have any questions about how to uh, bleed your clutch line in an STI, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, it really is simple. Don't be intimidated by it. Uh, so if your clutch pedal is ever starting to feel a little weird or you know, you're starting to feel some play, make sure you bleed the clutch. It'll, I'm sure there's some uh, air that somehow got trapped in there. Uh, and you know, just doing a simple bleed like that will definitely make it feel way better. Um, and obviously, especially if you replace the line with a stainless line. If you guys didn't notice, uh, I didn't show it in this video, but the stock line is actually a hard line. Um, so there's not really much feel to it, but with a braided steel line, it actually firms it up a little bit. It makes it feel a little bit more, uh, I guess, real. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to driving it with the new line in there as well. It was kind of an added bonus with the pair and pitch stop mount that, you know, comes with that kit. I wasn't really, uh, you know, I wasn't going to do it, but since you had to move it for that brace, um, is one of those things that it was kind of just a bonus with that kit. So happy I got it. Happy it's done. Happy everything, you know, went smoothly and looks good. And uh, obviously I got to drive it, but I will definitely report back to you guys uh, on how the clutch feels and how um, the overall pitch stop and pitch down mount feels and all that. I will be doing a review on it once I get some miles under the belt, uh, but it's going to be tough right now because we're getting some bad weather this the past two or three weeks with snow and ice, and it's been really, really crappy. Plus I'm on summer tires, so... Uh, I don't think it's going to be leaving anytime soon, but I promise I will be doing an update video of everything I just installed uh, in the last couple of videos. I have something pretty sweet coming this week, so stay tuned. I think you guys are going to be really excited. I'm really looking forward to it. It's something that I've always wanted, uh, and I've I have talked about it before, so I think you guys are going to be pretty stoked on it, uh, and it's going to be a fun install and definitely change the look of the car. So <laughs> uh, stay tuned for that one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple and I'll catch you in the next one.